Good morning guys. So I just weighed in and I weighed in at 188.2, which means that is a loss of 2.2. So I am excited about that. I haven't had a loss since April 24th and this is my the new low for me, which is fantastic. I've been maintaining is what I've been doing since then. So I am excited about that and continue on with the rest of this video to hear how the rest of my week went. Bye guys. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome to another week in review. You guys all asked me, well not all of you guys, of course, but a lot of you asked me to bring this back, so I did. So, um, as I told you guys last week, I am going to film these on Sunday and then I will have a clip either before or after. I think last week I put it before um, telling you what my weight loss was for the week or lack thereof or gain. Let's just be positive. Let's just say a weight loss because I need to have one. It has been so long. But so I told you guys last week, I it's okay. I feel good. I had some great non-scale victories to share with you guys last week. And even though I just stayed the same, I have not had much of a loss in the last probably three or four weeks, I believe. So I feel good about that. Let's not say I feel good about it, but I feel okay with it. I have come to terms with it because, like I said, I have been fitting into smaller clothes. All my shirts now are size large, which that was a new non-scale victory last week. I am fitting really comfortably in a smaller size pants. Um, it's just, I feel really good. So even though the scale is showing me to be about a pound up from my lowest weight, because I was at 190.4 last week, and I believe my lowest that I've hit is 189.4. So uh, it's okay. It's okay because I'm seeing things other places. So it is just fine. I don't have an issue. If I don't see a loss this week, it's okay because I had a great week. I do not have anything to be ashamed about or sorry for or any, there's no reason why I should gain this week, but there's, you know, even there hasn't really been in the last few weeks. So it's just one of those things. Our bodies, they just, they have a mind of their own. So it is, I hate that saying it is what it is, but it really, it is what it is because I know I'm doing other things for my body. I'm being healthy. This is my journey to healthy, not only my journey to weight loss. Weight loss is just coming along for the ride and hopefully it just jumps off at the end, right? I don't know. That's kind of corny. Not very good with those sayings anyway, so I shouldn't even make up my own. Um, so for things I want to talk about this week, um, I don't really have any non-scale victories except for, actually, I think I do have one. I think this could be counted as a non-scale victory. I, I think a lot of you guys can probably, um, what is the word? Like understand, just understand. I guess you guys could, you guys could understand about being really kind of self-conscious and you're really kind of low self-esteem and you know, just not having very much confidence, I guess, is the main thing. And I don't have any. I mean, it's, I mean, I know I do these videos, but really it's like, it, you, I don't know, it's hard to tell. I mean, hearing from you guys, like I get all these compliments from everybody saying that you can see the difference, even if the scale isn't doing anything, I get great compliments from everybody. And so you guys really are driving my self-confidence as well as like people at work. I'm hearing people all the time tell me, oh, you look so good. Oh, that, you know, cause I'm, I'm buying new clothes that fit me versus where, you know, it's like I was hiding in my clothes. So now I'm wearing clothes that, you know, are a little bit tighter than they normally would. I mean, they're not really tight because I still have, you know, still have work to do, but they fit me and there's a difference. Now I'm seeing that I shouldn't have been hiding in these big baggy clothes like I was before. Should be hiding behind this like kind of, you know, lack of a better word, kind of like fat girl mentality because I am, I am on this journey and I am doing really good and I'm really proud of the weight that I've lost and now it's being acknowledged in so many different ways and my self-confidence is really starting to move up. Now, it's nowhere way at the top by no means, but it's 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 working its way up. So I think that really is a non-scale victory to be able to start feeling comfortable in myself, comfortable in my clothes, and I'm just I'm feeling a lot better about myself. Um, my successes this week. Well, first let's start with a challenge because they kind of go one on one. The only challenge I really had this week, I would say, had to do with the jelly bellies. 
So, you know, and I talked about this in one of my, you know, daily vlogs. I, I don't know what happened. I literally was just standing at the front desk. Somebody had some leftover jelly beans from a conference that they're doing. And I just literally just, oh, look, jelly bellies. Oh, they're watermelon. That's a really good kind, by the way. I just started eating them. And I, you know, I had a handful. I just took a handful and I started eating them. And then I was like, what the heck am I doing? What? And I looked down at it and I'm like, why did I just do this? I wanted to slap myself. I just wanted to be like, no, no, what are you doing? I finished them, but I counted what was left in my hand. And I thought, you know what? I'm just going to finish this with my hand. Whatever it is, I have some weekly points. It's not like I used any weekly points at that point through the week. I had them. That's what they're there for. I'm just going to finish them. So I had 20 of them, which ended up being four points. Not that bad. Now, I could use a lot of other things for, you know, four points for a lot of other things, probably a lot bigger things than 20 jelly beans. But I think, you know, the challenge was is like, is I just did it without even thinking. And I feel like it almost kind of pushed me back a little bit thinking, see, I haven't accomplished anything in this journey because I can't even, you know, mindless eating is still there. But does it ever go away? So for any of you guys out there that are on Lifetime, tell me like Julie Julie tell me you know I don't know I, I know Julie watches these videos I don't know like I know Emma's on Lifetime and Celia's on Lifetime all, all those other YouTubers out there they're on Lifetime and I just I, I need to ask them I think and say does this ever stop like does the mindless eating ever stop I mean when you get to like your goal weight do you miraculously go I mean I'm assuming the answer is no I'm assuming that that is always going to be there and we will always have that issue I don't know I mean does it ever change does it get better I don't know anyway that is one probably my challenge but how I kind of turned it in my head though as a success was that I stopped at the 20 I mean in the past I would have been just like okay you know because there's other things there there's candy bars sitting there there was you know there was little pack M&Ms you guys I told you guys my M&Ms and jelly beans are like this for me and I there was all those there you know it was packages of them and I could have had other things but I didn't I stopped I stopped at the 20 jelly beans so I feel like that is a success as well and I acknowledge that I did something and I acknowledged it and I tracked it and I counted it so I think that's a success I feel like that is I turned it around and made it into a positive so that that was something that I did and I, I feel good about it um, other than that, the other success I had this week, I really focused on my healthy habits challenge for myself this week and the one I give to my subscribers through Subscriber Sunday, and that was to focus on superfoods, which I really did. And one of the things, I discovered a new food combination that is out of this world to me, and that was oatmeal, which I had oatmeal in a while because in the past I never found it to be very filling, but I did rolled oats and blueberries and chia seeds, and I did just three quarters of a teaspoon of chia seeds, which is zero points, four points worth of the rolled oats. And I didn't use instant oatmeal because the rolled oats was what's simply filling. And then I just put a bunch of blueberries on top and it was amazing you guys. And it kept me full all morning, no problem. And it was just so good. So I really focused on those superfoods all week and it really gave me a focus and something to look forward to and something to track. And it's, that's really helpful, really, really helpful for me. So I feel like it was a really good week. I, you know, I, the only other challenge I would say was getting my exercise in, um, which I, my exercise of choice right now is just walking and doing some like other exercise videos, but that stopped after like Wednesday. And then it started raining on Thursday. So the walking stopped outside. I did walk Wednesday at home before I left. I think it was Wednesday. I don't know. There's one day I walked three miles before I left for work. And then I just didn't do it after that. Exercise is so tough for me, you guys. Um, I think after this week, another healthy habits challenge. I already have this week's healthy habit challenge ready, set, in stone. But I think next week, week after, you know, the next week's is going to be something to do with exercise because I need it. It's like I, um, I cannot get myself to schedule it or track it or anything. So that is my another challenge. So what am I going to do this week? What's my focus? It's going to be the same, you know, the usual. I'm going to make sure I stay on track. I'm going to do simply filling. 
I am going, this week's focus as far as healthy habits challenge is protein. So I'm going to focus on my protein and try to get enough protein in each meal. And if you want more, know more about my um, healthy habits challenge, the subscriber Sunday video will be up yesterday. So as a Sunday and it'll, I'll try to link it, or I'm going to link it at the end of this video and down below. And so that's what I have to say. So I will let you guys know, of course, what my weigh-in is. I probably just do it before this video. I will do it first thing in the morning, just Monday morning for my weigh-in day. And we'll see how I did. So let me know down below how you guys did this week and what are you proud of. And I will talk to you guys in the next video.